guys, what's going on? It's Savage here, and I constructed the team that is going to lead us to the promised land for a weekend league, fellas. So, weekend league is in two days, and I'm just going to give you guys some tips that you can do to build your squad before the weekend league, and then we're going to hop into a game with this squad and see how it performs as we are preparing for the weekend league so there's the offense and here's the defense so i would just definitely recommend strong strong safety or fast very very fast safety strong safety and free safety make sure they're fast got a quick user in the middle like shazier hassan reddick's the budget supplement of shazier and just have some pretty quick corners who can press a little bit mix in a little bit of man and zone of course you want to have a little high press when your corners and then on the offense pretty good route running receivers at least one person that you could obviously rely on to beat somebody every time like tyreek hill got a pretty good run blocking tight end and i got two solid running backs and a quarterback with disgust Disgusting, disgusting throw power. Those are my key recommendations. But without further ado, let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Hop into a game. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we're starting off on the offense. So what I like to do, you guys know me. I'm a run-heavy guy. Now, it looks like this guy's out in 3-4 odds. So I got to watch it if it's cover 4. That's what it's looking to be. That's what it's looking to be. Doesn't matter though. We're getting to the outside. And that's all I want to do. I want to control the clock. I want to control the run game. If I can do that and I can get in his head that I can beat him with the run, I 100% will feel that much more confident as I keep calling the run plays, even out of shotgun, because he's always going to be thinking, he might run it, then I hit him with a quick pass, and I got to die. Running the ball is so important. It just, it gives you that momentum. It's going to demoralize his defense. Look at him bringing that safety into the box, bringing the safety into the box, and look what that does. It gives us the free lane to the outside. Great blocking down the field, just like that. Two plays. Two runs, 75 yards. That's a touchdown, baby. Let's get it. It looks like this guy wants to get a little glitchy, too. And he's got David Johnson. He's got Randy Moss. So we got to be prepared for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm coming out my 4-4. I want to lock up the run. I want to lock up the power row. I want to lock up the power row. There it is. Locking it up. He obviously had a lot less success than we did when we ran our power row. So it's going to be second and five. Got to see what he does next. Here it is, bro. A little bit of pass happiness out of bunch. I'm seeing. I'm seeing the pass happiness out of bunch. Seeing the pass happiness out of bunch. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Get him. There we go. Great hit. Adrian Amos able to crash in on that for the incompletion. Thank God. Now, like I said, fellas, I want to help you guys out. So what I do is whenever I see those kind of plays, whenever I see Bunch or something, I'm going to use her high. I use her high on the opposite side because that gives me a good cutoff. So now I can cut off right here. I can come back up. I can cut off over here. And there's going to be a pick right there. He's forcing it right to Dion. Dion was sleeping on that. Now Dion with a spin. Dion with the broken tackle. Dion's got wheels. And Dion saying, hey, oh, my God, the disrespect. That is prime time for you. As you can see, we use it on the opposite side of where all the routes were. So there was three over here. I lined up over here. As soon as they start coming across, I go low and then cut up in the middle. It gives me three lurks on every possible angle of each route. That's how you play. That is how you play defense. See what this is right here, man. It's going to be. It is going to be what's looking like. Three receivers on the left side. Maybe they're all going to be coming across that middle. I'm using on the opposite side of them just so, you know, give myself that leverage. So there's a leverage. There's a leverage starting low. I'm going back high now. There it is. He went to the outside. Incomplete, bro. Absolutely no chance. If you're going to just try to glitch play your way down the field with these little PA crossers, dog, it ain't going to work. If you're playing against somebody that's consistently like this, meaning they're just consistently going to try to get under your skin and they're going to consistently try to get, you know, just on on that glitch on a glitchy kind of level you want to you want to play a little on the opposite side go low then crash up crash up look at that post nope 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 there's no way out of bounds i don't know why these kids dude they really really do try to test me way too much main reads on that player across the middle if i lock up the two across the middle guess what happens he only has one read that's the outside you don't want to limit yourself to one read think about it guys would you rather want one read or like four or five solid reads now look at this once again trying to use that safety into the box gonna hit him with a quick spin delaney walker with the block marshall falk with the stiff arm falling down into the end zone it's 21 zip just like that fellas i'm running the ball i'm doing what i know i can do on defense i'm doing what i know i can do to prevent against the cheese to prevent against three crossing routes across the middle three crossing routes across the middle with a fade is gonna let or two crossing routes across the middle with a fade is not gonna win you games if you play smart i'm playing really smart look at the score once again same formation he's got randy over there i'm gonna play the outside i'm going to i mean i'm gonna play the inside going to play the inside playing the inside there it is there it is there's a other hook that he wants he beat me a little deep but amos is going to be able to catch it on the underthrow. that is another interception this dude is 0 for 7 with seven picks one of them was a pick six 
Who's really taking W's? I'm going to show you guys my pass. A little bit of the passing that I do. Now, right now, it's pretty much a blowout. And you guys are seeing where I'm, I'm showing you guys what I'm going to be doing for weekend league. So what I do on these kinds of plays, I come out in bunch. But I come out in a very unique version because what I like to do is, is I like to have a lot of routes. So I have a drag. I have a C route. I have two check downs. A flat on the right side, flat on the left side, and a post. What this is going to do is it is going to allow me to pick depending on coverage. And what I mean by that is, is since the D-line rush this year, unless you send like five freaking people is so weak look at how much time i just had and look at what i got look at what i got out of that i got a nice first down gain i got a really really nice play out of it and now right here guess what we're gonna do we're gonna run out of a gun formation i'm gonna show if you can show your opponent you can run out of a passing formation and guess what's gonna happen they're gonna always have to play to run no matter what formation you're in whether it's bunch whether it's i form whether it's whatever you want it to be because look at this dude now i've only thrown one pass i have 13 yards 100 percent completion rate your peers conceded the game i'm gonna hop into another game to entertain you guys and teach you what else you can do now right here man it's gonna be first attempt for our opponent we're in a second game now he's gonna be coming out what seems to be a run it's a run to oh my god the run defense that we run is pretty glitchy now this guy's a really good team he actually has 90 reggie white 89 to devion Clowney. And I think he has 88 Eric Berry. Does that? Yeah, 88 Eric Berry. And then he has this Marshall Falk in the backfield. So I'm extremely nervous about that. Now, this guy right there coming out with a quick run. He's coming out with a nice little quick run. And now, uh oh. It's looking like. Dude, this could very well be the same play. This could very well be the same play that was just run against us. It is legitimately the same exact play almost. Like, damn near the same play. Of course, the low route. Gonna get open right there. He's actually slanting. It is PA deep cross. He's slanting that inside route or the outside route to a slant because the, the zone won't crash on it. See, we got right here, man. I'm spreading the linebackers. I'm gonna be spreading them out a little bit. Gotta see what he's doing. This might be a play action play. Yup, it's a it's a delay play action. There it is. Over the top, over the top, over the top. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing what he wants. I'm seeing what he wants. He has a lot of time, a lot of time. That's gonna be a pick though. Do we got it? Yo, it's our ball. I, f I knew it. I was like, dude, the, the, the camera didn't switch, so I was so confused. Our ball, baby. Let's get it. Now, being that I think that he is in mid-blitz, I'm going to take the risk right now, and I'm going to block right there. Okay, there it is. But look at the drag wide open. Tyreek Hill underneath. Tyreek Hill is underneath. And if you are going to run... Oh, my God! I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Go, 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 go! Dion with the cutoff, but it's okay. We are down inside the 16. I wasn't expecting that, but as you can see right there, in order to beat mid-blitz... In order to really, really beat mid blitz, now guys, like I said, you're gonna play against these spam ass plays in weekend league. So if you wanna go top 100 or at least try to compete a little bit, just just take a little bit of what I say, tweak it a little bit if you don't like exactly what I say, but take it, take a little bit of what I say. If you wanna beat mid blitz, you're gonna have to run out of passing formations. You are gonna have to pass with a lot of underneaths in order to beat mid blitz this year. It's just too glitchy. It's too freaking good. And why is it so good? Your guess is as good as mine. Is it going to stay that good? Maybe after the patch, not. Because maybe it'll fix the zones and zone will be everybody's favorite thing again. But as of right now, mid blitz and 4-4 and, and everything like that. Everything that we've been running is going to be super glitchy. And we just have to combat against it as best as we can. Alright, I'm coming out monster. Oh my god, he knows how to stop monster. He knew how to stop monster. But Marshall Folk is too good. Come out monster around the goal line is spreads the formation. That's a touchdown. So now situations like this, I'm going to play on the side of the opposite of the receivers because odds are those receivers are coming from left to right. So I'm going to start over here, try to bait him over here, and then come around like that. And look at this, look at this, look at this. Everything is locked up. Everything is locked up. Of course, the spy gets picked up a little bit at the last second. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a little weird, but I guess I'll take it, man. It is a drop pass. Look at this. PA double post. What is he trying to do? Get post routes across the middle, up the field, down the sideline. It ain't gonna work if you guys listen to good old Sav. I promise you, I'm here to make you all better. That is why I make a YouTube videos, to make you guys better. There's no reason for you guys to be able to get into a game and lose. Because I don't want to see you guys losing. I want to see you guys tweet me your rewards, comment your rewards. Like, oh my god, Sav, you just made me go top 100 in Weekend League. Or Sav, you made me get Elite 1 in Weekend League. That don't mean the world to me if that happens. Look at that, another pick right there, bro. We are playing conservative football right now. Smart football right now, locking them up right now. Worst thing you could do is pass it and throw a pick in a red zone. That is the worst possible thing you could do. So, I mean, if you can run it, he just freaking put all the dudes in your coverage. If you can run it in the red zone at, at will, at will, like I said, you want to run out of passing formations because look what he just did. I came out in a passing formation that was dotting them up. Guess what he did? He put all them dudes in coverage. Guess what happened for us? We got... Five pancakes right off the line of scrimmage. We're down at the one. I'm going to let it hit the two-minute warning. I'm going to pick it up. Your boy is too hyped for Weekend League. Your boy is too hyped to make you guys hype for Weekend League because if you guys are hype and I'm hype for the same thing and we're all getting wins and we're all making coins and getting high overall elites for free every week just for being good, 
that my job on YouTube is successful. YouTube for everybody who wants to be good at Madden. I do YouTube to entertain. I do everybody. I I, I do YouTube to just for for all all of the categories. Being good at the game, making other people good at the game, entertaining people, letting people laugh at me, letting people you know. I mean, spam L when I do something wrong in the streams and stuff. But that, that's fine. That's all fun and games because guess what? As long as you guys are enjoying the content and as long as you guys are seeing me put up these numbers against top tier players, because we ain't in no low division. I play the best of the best uh, on draft. I only play top 100 because I'm top 50. I only play top 100 because I'm top 50 right now on draft. So whenever you see the draft videos, I'm playing against the best of the best. Whenever you see these videos, I'm start. I'm, I'm almost top 100 in month seasons. We are here to make moves. We are here to make impact on the community, and I'm here to help you guys all succeed as best as we can and get your top 100 rewards. Right here could be the same play. Gotta watch the screen though. Gotta watch the screen. No screen. No screen. Gonna be playing this route over here. Gonna be playing everything over here. I see the seam. I see the seam. Okay, that's gonna crash on him. Jalen Ramsey crashing right on that underneath. I don't know why these kids try the underneath. Jump does not work against Papa Sav. Now guys, this is where you are in control of the game. Once you're up by two possessions, especially in a weekend league, it doesn't matter if you are winning, if you're if you win by one point or win by a hundred points. Remember that a win's a win. Beans were up by three possessions. You are now fa father time. Meaning, I turned on true clock, bro. This dude, I am going to chew the hell out of this clock for the rest of this game because I can. I'm up by three possessions. Why would I risk anything? For me to just get these practice runs in, look at that. The fourth, the fourth quarter is almost amongst us. We're almost in the fourth quarter. So, I mean, this dude, realistically, he's gonna have he's gonna have a lot. Of, oh, I just threw that right to him. Oh my God, no. Oh no, my testicles. Okay, there we go. All right, you see, that was a bad read. That was just a bad read. See how we played dumb? I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Because I figured that, guess what? If he wants to come out in this in this mid blitz, maybe I could get a quick read on him. He was right there for the quick read. Great play for our opponent, but look at how composed I am. Never feel discouraged if you throw a pick. Let's see what we got right here. Coming across this format. Oh God, he went play action. Good play. Great play by our opponent. I can't do nothing but respect that. Now it's going to be a two possession game rather than a three possession game. So I'm going to be a little nervous. I'm going to try to get a quick read right here. We're going to see what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, underneath. There's the underneath. Look at square. Square ain't open though. Oh my God, we got a great block right there. Got a great block, but look at triangle. <gasps> oh my God. Now this, this is where you could be like, what the hell has happened? Why did it go so far over my dude's head? This is the stuff that you're gonna see in weekend league, so we gotta now play a lot smarter. Little tight set right now, little 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 extra extra glitchy formation looking like. Little extra glitchy in the back of the end zone. Come on, Ramsey! Ramsey didn't play it. That bothers the hell out of me. That's all right though. Once we get this ball back, we are going super eye form pro mode. That's gonna happen. Stuff like this can happen, and it turns the tie of the game in an instant. But it doesn't matter because you just got to play smarter and you got to play harder. Look at that spin move right there going down to the 46-yard line first down. Now, anything can happen. Like I said, Madden, and you guys know anything can happen in this game. Anything can happen in this game. Right there, we get a little love. We get a little love from EA Sports. There it is. Broken set. I'm going to hit the turf, hit the turf, hit the turf. There it is. We down inside the 13. A touchdown would pretty much lock this game up. Actually, we could get a first down even down here and, and really kill the clock. Bring that safety into the box. Let's see what we got right here. We're running it. We're running it. We got room. Ty Montgomery's got room. He dove mad early with that safety. That's a touchdown. That could have very well just sealed the game for us. I think he might be out the door. If so, yup, that is how you combat everything pretty much. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just listen to me, man. I, I know in the second half, we came out, we were playing conservative, but we did the wrong kind of conservative. When he was coming out mid-blitz, what did I do? I called shotgun runs. Come out in the eye for him. It'll mess him up big time if you see that spam play. Remember, just make sure your offense and defense is big enough to kind of diversify so you can at least blanket from time to time, time to time, and such like that to at least make sure that your opponent doesn't have as many plays as you do. But, of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack a big fat thumbs up on a button. Subscribe if you don't have a wonderful rest of your night.